Hi, I'm Shoestring Jay and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things thrifty, frugal and money saving. And as you may know from my previous videos, I we are looking at selling the house. So this week I just really put everything aside just to start doing some DIY. Um, so the first thing we had to do was this office. Um, I, I'll show you as we go along, but it we'd had a leak in the roof. It was looking kind of mouldy. It was also very cluttered. It made it look very small. I had my big rail just here. Um, and it made the room look really much smaller than it actually is. So I've had a little bit of reorganisation. I've still got a tiny bit to go because I've moved out all of my packing materials and I need to find something somewhere for those to live. I'm thinking possibly one of the sheds as long as we are mouse free, but we'll see. Anyway, so this week we've been doing a lot of DIY. Uh, Justin's been trying to put up the gazebo. He has put up the gazebo, but he hasn't bothered to put the roof on yet because he wants to bolt it to the patio first. It doesn't take off if we have strong winds like recently with Storm Eunice. Um, and we know they're fairly strong because our next door neighbour's got the identical one and he took the, the roof panel off the canvas uh, during Storm Eunice and it actually didn't take off at all. It was quite solid. So we want that for the summer. Um, we've been doing a little bit of gardening, veggie patches are being tended, but we're not doing a lot. We're not growing the things we were planning to at the beginning of the year because we're not going to be here to actually make use of a lot of those kind of vegetables that are kind of going to be ready towards the end of the year, the beginning of next year. We probably won't be here. So anyway, I'll show you what we've been up to this week, starting off with decorating the office. OK, so this is what the office looks like at the moment. We had a leak in the roof and it's created a bit of mould in place. It's not too bad here. That needs a bit of a repair. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Glue it. Um, some of the wood is a bit looking a bit dodgy and it is sorting out as well. It's been a while since we did this one, but not that long. Um, we did get some mould in the winter when we had a leak on the roof, as I say. Um, and that's not looking too nice, is it? So that needs to be sorted out. It's around the windows as well. Oh, I've got my peppers there, they're going to have to move. And you can see it more there, that side. Oh, here I am. This is Crunch, website of the week, as <laughs> she string cottage. All my junk, that all needs to be sorted. This is all stuff I sell, my packaging, stuff I'm selling. But, you know, you can see there's quite, there's not that much in some of them. So I think I can rationalise this and actually put them into fewer boxes as part of the, the plan. Anyway, I've got those that are just in the way. This is all stuff that is waiting to be listed. This is coats, but they, again, they could be folded up really. So I'm going to have to move, I think I'm going to move everything this way and do this wall and the back wall. And then this is going to be the hardest because I've got a big wardrobe. I've got a bookshelf <laughs> full of bits and pieces. I've got this wardrobe. Um, I've got the, fr the freezer, which is just so much junk up there. And then I've got my whole stock thing. So I have to take the boxes, put them somewhere else and then move that over because I can't move it all in one go, it's too heavy. So big job today. Good job I've had no sleep whatsoever because Archie's got a runny bum and has had me up and down all night. Oh well, onwards and upwards. Archie thinks he's going to help me with the painting. So got my dust sheets ready and decided to lie down on them. Is that a place to sleep? I don't think it is. I don't think that is a place to sleep, is it? <laughs> Silly boy. OK, I've done two coats of one side of the office. I, the other side, I mean, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to move some things into another room, I think, because this takes up so much space. I need to move the, the rail, I think. Um, and I'm just doing round by the where the desk normally sits. So it looks a lot better. It's got rid of all that kind of mouldy, mouldy look. I'm going to do the ceiling as well at some point and also the woodwork. There's minimal woodwork in here, so there's not that much to do. Justin's halfway through putting the gazebo up. Hopefully we'll get some sunshine so we can appreciate that. Right, get on with it then. So I am very much hot and sweaty. Just been lugging all of my stock from my office up to the spare bedroom, which is currently empty just for a week or so because we are between lodges. So that I can paint the office, I'll show you. So it's complete chaos. <laughs> But I managed to, by moving all of my stock to one side, I've managed to paint the end wall there and this wall and this wall and the skirting as well. But 
in order to paint behind here, I really need some space to bring these forward. So that is my next job. So I've emptied this rail. I'm gonna take the rail down actually um, and stop putting things in boxes because not everything needs to hang. Um, and I've got to get behind this freezer, which is manky and horrible. I've done behind these two, I've emptied this shelf, which is full of my stock. So I've got to have to repack that at some point. Um, yes, so I'm very looking very attractive in my ancient painting outfit. Oh, it's so warm as well today. I'm absolutely knackered. Um, I've been for a walk with Archie already. Um, so now I'm just going to get on with the painting and I've got to go and collect daughter number three, who is coming to stay for a few days. There's Archie with his big sister, Izzy. He's come to look after him. He hates her. He really hates her. Don't you, Archie? Mm -hmm. Well, it took me a few days because I'm slow, as you know. So I've just repainted all of that now and sorted out my eBay stuff. Got rid of the rail, as I said I was going to. Sorted out stuff there. And it's done, so that's good. One room done, the rest of the house to go. So I should say that uh, repainting the office cost absolutely nothing, or well, nothing that we hadn't spent a long time ago because we had the cream paint and we had the white paint for the woodwork. So it really just didn't cost anything. We will need to buy more cream paint because I'm just gonna whoosh through the house with it now. So um, it's just worth using what you've got, isn't it? I might've done it a different color otherwise, but you know, Let's use what we've got. It's anti-mould paint as well, so that's good. So hopefully we won't have a repeat of what we had. Plus the uh, plumber has now repaired and sorted out the leak that we had in the roof, so hopefully we won't have that again. This is Mr. Shoestring, still trying to work out how to put this whipping gazebo up. Getting there, getting there. So he has finished it. I'm not going out there to film it because it's really raining, but he's finished it apart from the top, the tarpaulin bit. So we'll put that on when there's nicer weather. You see next doors, the top of the next doors. It'll be lovely when, it, when we do get some sun. My peppers are sitting out there waiting to be potted up as well. Just hoping the rain will stop so I can get that done. The tomatoes are all doing well. Cucumbers up the back I need to do something with. More tomatoes down there, which will have probably go outside, I think. Courgettes, which are nearly ready to go out now. More tomatoes. There's a lot of salad stuff. Some peppers on the second shelf. Down. Still got a few tomatoes to pop up and give away to people. Getting there. So that's it for this week. I do feel like I achieved quite a lot, even though I'm quite slow. I was just so tired. As you know, I'm still kind of post-COVID recovery. Um, and I was proud of myself that I actually managed to plod on and get these things done. Um, so Izzy's here to look after the dog. We're off to Norwich for the weekend. So um, hopefully you'll see a blog with um, our trip to Norwich on it. I used to live in Norwich. My eldest daughter was born in Norwich. So I do like to go back and have a little look around every now and then. So anyway, that will be a upcoming blog. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give me the thumbs up and do please subscribe so that you will know each time I publish a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.